a lot of fire when we got here upon arrival. So they're very lucky to have been able to make it out. A person driving by a Lawrence County home sees flames and then calls 911. Minutes later, that person and a police officer help rescue a family as fire destroys their home. WKBN brought you the breaking news during First News this morning, and we've been on the story ever since. A mom and her son injured and rushed to the hospital after the fire broke early this morning. Here in the 1200 block of Kings Chapel Road is in the Shannock Township. WKBN's Corey Frumpkin was the first local TV reporter on the scene as crews frantically searched for another child who was initially thought to be inside the home. It was a busy morning for firefighters in the Shannock Township. An intense house fire forced the residents of this home out around 4.30 this morning. There was heavy fire involvement on our first unit's arrival and the police. Police on scene say Jennifer Bees grabbed her six-year-old daughter and rushed her outside to give to a neighbor to keep warm. She then went back in to get her 16-year-old autistic son when police officers stepped in to help. The mother had broken that bedroom window and uh, that's where we concentrated our efforts was right at that bedroom window. Both mother and son made it out safely with officers performing mouth to mouth on the son. Bees then said an 11 year old girl was still inside the residence. Now, fortunately, the 11 year old girl was found safe this morning with her father. Yeah. I think just in her panic state, um, she felt that her daughter was still in the house. Uh, once she got calmed down at the hospital, she realized that her daughter was actually with uh, the father. The 16 year old was airlifted to Mercy Hospital in Pittsburgh. Bees was transported to Jameson Memorial Hospital with cuts to her feet and accompanied by her daughter, who wasn't injured. The home is a total loss. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. In the Shannock Township, I'm Corey Frumpkin, WKBN 27 First News.